Arnold Valmo is a name synonymous with the giants of industry in St. Lucia. The pioneer known for the Valmo store chain and countless ventures has reached another milestone as the nation's only living centenarian businessman. Family and friends gathered on Thursday, July 9th at the home of the Valmo clan nestled along the aptly named Valmo Lane to pay tribute to the icon with a special mass and breakfast. So far he's been in relatively good health. Um, he um, continues to smoke, so that sometimes creates an issue for him. But otherwise, he's in relatively good health. A little bit of arthritis, but his mind is intact. That's the most important thing. A throng of St. Lucia's A-listers came out to pay tribute to the icon, including former governor general, sports stars, political figures, the clergy, and the local business community, among them business magnate Michael Shastley. The titan of St. Lucia Enterprise reminisced over the halcyon days, lauding the centenarian for his accomplishments and unrivaled endurance. One of the most vivid memories I have of Mr. Valmo is when my father had a schooner called the Grand Villas going to Martinique. And um, I introduced him to a French lady, maybe in her late 20s, with a real businesswoman. And the amount of business Mr. Valmo did with this lady. But that wasn't all. Um, Andre Chastley, who worked with me for the South Mark, worked with Mr. Valmo as an accountant for many years. And then when I built my first build, my last building at Rodney Bay, which was almost uh, 15,000 square feet, the whole Valmo stood open there and opened a beautiful um, store, which went really well. And I have nothing more than respect Mr. Valmo and his family over the years. He's worked extremely hard and he deserves every bit of respect today. Earl Littleton Francis Valmo praised his sisters for organizing the celebration of father's life. We're very happy to come together with, you know, family more importantly than just the party, just to see the family. And how's your father taking this? How is your father? He's doing very well because the last two years I tried to have, keep a party for him and every time I tried, he was like, no, I can't, I can't handle all of the, but today he seems to be coping very well. I think he was looking forward to the 100, always. He's like Chanda Paul, you know, he, you ain't getting him out before 100. The man of the moment, still spry and alert at a century, was grateful for a long-lived life. His message to the generations that succeeded him is simply premised on the indomitable spirit and drive of a soul in his formative years. To, to, to continue to survive. <laughs> to continue to survive. To do whatever is necessary, whatever is good to survive. Right, okay. Mr. Valmo, as he is affectionately known, got his birthday wish a meeting with former West Indies cricket skipper Darren Sammy, who made a special celebrity guest appearance at the grand celebration. Mr. Valmo was born in Viewfort and moved to Castries at the age of 14 following his father's death. He started his work life at JQ. According to the iconic St. Lucian's publication, Mr. Valmo opened a nightclub and a dry goods shop at the corner of Labry and Victoria Streets in Castries in 1951. Over time, he expanded his business to include haberdashery, clothing and accessories, cosmetics, houseware, furniture and hardware items. He bought the Viewfort and Soufer branches of MNC in the 1980s. He received the OBE and the SLC in 2007. Joachim de Plessy, HTS News Force.